here just wanted to talk with you about our week 12 or 13 I'll have to put it on the screen I believe it's week 13 I think I did weeks 11 and 12 together last time so this time I'm doing week 13 uh, let's let's do the uh, this new grow bed first <clears throat> I'm actually uh, really delighted with this grow bed so far I like working with this media better than the large rocks it's obviously much better and I think that when I do the uh, harvesting and <clears throat> start upgrading these grow beds I will definitely change out to this pea gravel which is much cheaper much easier to work with uh, and we found a source for it which is just super cheap I got this whole buck this whole box full of it for ten bucks so that's the cost of filling up that's I mean it's it's like twelve dollars for that rock right there if you want to buy it from like Home Depot or Lowe's or something you know for the Vigoro uh, larger river rock for a four pound bag is like three or four dollars so it takes you know three four maybe five bags to fill up one of those grow beds which is gets a little expensive for your rock but we went to a, uh, <clears throat> a sand and gravel place and got this stuff, this whole tub full of it, which is like two or three times the size of one of those, for $12, $9, $10, something like that. So it's much, much cheaper. But you can see that the growth in this thing so far at uh, not even a week yet is doing really good. And you can see here, let me see if I can get the camera to focus. We've got some actual growth of the green onion. We have some good growth on the, that's your Dutch cabbage. We have one, so far, I didn't notice any, oh wait, there's two sweet yellow onions. There's one, let me get in the shade there. There's one right there, and then there's another one popping up right there. <clears throat> this uh, Paris Island romaine lettuce is growing like crazy. I'm actually doing some uh, time-lapse photography on that tripod right there <clears throat> every uh, three times a day. So I'm putting together a little time-lapse uh, photography so that you can see the growth on that. This uh, this Teton hybrid spinach has not yet uh, reared its head. Neither has the artichoke. So we're just testing those. The lettuce, I mean the uh, tomato plant, this beef steak tomato that we planted in here is actually doing really well. Getting some good growth on it. Got a little couple of balls, maybe some you know, tomatoes coming out here pretty soon. And then the, the bib lettuce. That's your bib lettuce right into the spigot there. It's actually doing really good. The broccoli is hanging in there. The temperatures are cooling down here in Arizona. We're getting into the 90s instead of the 100s and cooling down in the mid 60s at night, which is super awesome. Uh, I did trim the lettuce off on these plants, all of them, so they're starting to grow back. Uh, they were kind of tall and spindly, so I wanted to trim them down and see if I could get them to grow closer and bushier. That pepper plant is actually doing really well, and you, I believe, can see that we have a pepper growing on that thing. Two or three of them, so we're super delighted about that. This thing here, I'm not a river I told you, I'm not even sure what that is. We'll find out later. This plant here, I also don't remember what this is, but it's doing really well. It's exploding. But check out the, the stem on that thing. It's like flat. That's really weird. 
it's lively and healthy and growing like crazy, but it's got a flat stem. Very interesting. The, uh, the caterpillars have been killed off. We don't have any real caterpillar activity. I'm not sure what is eating the leaves on that pepper plant, but it's not caterpillars. So I might uh, have to investigate that a little bit further. I want to get some ladybugs and put them in here to see if the... Uh, I haven't noticed any aphids or anything, but uh, the corn, yeah, corn's all right. We do have some of those little white bugs on there. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. It's kind of pretty hard. As you might be able to tell, I'm using a different camera here today. It's a digital SLR. But the... Uh, there's one of these couple of these little tiny flat white bugs on that thing and the ants love to eat them but uh, yeah that corn is not nearly as healthy as the stuff that's growing outside the grow bed but those little white flat bugs are easy to take care of you can just there's usually only a couple of them you just grab them and smash them and they're pretty much done but yeah there's probably a couple more on there these two last grow beds are obviously doing amazing. They're growing all over the place. And check out this gherkin. Look at that big old sucker, man. He's growing nice. Growing nice and big. We got a couple of couple of really nice ones growing down here. Here's another one. That one's very nice. We got another good size one that's Growing a little straighter up there, it looks just like a pickle. Super awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. And we also have these little buggers right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, those are actually watermelons. I am obviously new to this, so we're, we're just gonna, it's gonna be, uh, you know, a surprise. Surprise, look what you got, which is cool too fish. Look at those little monkeys. Throwing like crazy. The fish are getting big. And as I think I mentioned in the last video, we do have some breeding behavior going on there in the back with big old Leroy Brown. Kind of guarding the back of the tank and taking over the place. They're eating really well. I did have one fish that died this week. Now how did he die? He jumped out of the tank. <laughs> he actually committed suicide. It was a bummer. <clears throat> I didn't even know he had come out of there. We had the little dog, my sister's dog, actually went back behind the tank and pulled him out of there and started munching on him. It looked like he had been dead for a couple of days. And he got out of the tank and died there behind it. Dog pulled it out. So that was our our one and only fish death was that fish jumping out of the tank. So I did put that net up there. I'm not sure if you can see that very good, but I did put the netting up there. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I had to protect them with some netting so they don't jump out. But, jet flyby. The Feast of Sukkot is now over, so I'll be, today, uh, or tomorrow actually, is the uh, high Sabbath of Sukkot, the final, the eighth day. The lettuce is doing really well and the spinach is doing really well. I did trim this lettuce off and I'll tell you that the reason why I did that is because I actually trimmed off a bunch of the leaves from this lettuce and I ate some of it and it was bitter. So I determined that it's probably because it was a little too hot and also because it was getting too much sun. So now that uh, you know the fall is here, I actually wanted to trim those off and kind of restart them and see if we can get some better tasting lettuce by shading them and uh, you know the, just the cooler temperatures kind of influencing that. And you know I took the um, some of the big bunches that I cut off like this one right here, this big one, and I threw it in the fish tank and they ate the crap out of it. They tore it up until there was just a skeleton of a plant left, so they were delighted to eat that, which was nice. Some free fish food. 
veggies. They really seem to like that quite a bit. This corn right here is uh, doing really well, obviously. Much better than in the aquaponic system, for whatever reason. We've mentioned before, we don't know if it's the location, sunshine, whatever. I've seen people grow corn in aquaponics that does great, uh, but this and we've got the male parts of the plants that are coming up here looking really good, and we even have some female action at the bottom of these plants. So they are starting to look really good, and we're going to see some growth of actual fruit on these things pretty soon, I think. And then I'll bring you over here and show you the, uh, this little bean is doing okay, not too bad. The carrots that I have growing here are looking pretty good, They're doing very nice, growing out real good. This vine is absolutely going crazy, and I am going to uh, retrain the vine, kind of disentangle some of the main branches from this structure that I've got it growing on here, and stretch a wire across to this holder here and let it go, you know, grow across this area. So that will, uh, I'm going to begin training this vine here in the next couple of weeks, and I'll show you that once I get around to it. So there's your uh, week 13 update on Izzy's desert aquaponics system. And I hope you all are having a fabulous time enjoying your Feast of Sukkot and the High Sabbath of Sukkot combined with the Friday Sabbath. You'll have a double one. Super awesome. So rock and roll and have a great time.